I remember when I was laid off from a corporate nine to five job while I was a graduate student after the initial shock, because it came right after the CEO had declared how great the company was doing at the Christmas office party. Party, All I felt was relief and happiness. I was able to take my severance package and focus on my studies and travel a little bit for some R&R. I bring this up because in working with women in their 40s preparing to become a mother, I noticed that many women who reach out to me tend to experience their fertility journey from an outside in approach. What I mean by this is that their mental state is influenced by their physical conditions, whether it's their age of being in their 40s or beyond, their medical diagnoses like low AMH, poor egg quality, or diminished ovarian reserve, or their past history of failed fertility treatments or pregnancy losses, or having been unsuccessful for months or years. In other words, their emotions react to their physical situation. When this happens and they experience fertility obstacles, emotions like frustration, worry, anger, and fear commonly arise. They hope for an improvement in their physical condition, the positive pregnancy test, to enhance their emotional well-being. However, just like my own experience of finding unexpected positivity and opportunities for growth after losing my job, I encourage these women to consider an inside-out approach to their fertility journey. By cultivating a resilient and hopeful inner state, you can influence your outer physical reality. This means focusing on nurturing positivity, practicing mindfulness, and maintaining a balanced lifestyle, which can significantly impact your physical health and fertility outcomes. I have a meditation kit specifically to help you in this regard. If you want to order one, the link is in the description below. Creating a mental environment of peace and optimism prepares the body to be more receptive to conception, despite any external challenges. It's important for you to recognize that your worth and emotional state should not be dependent on your fertility status or the outcomes of your efforts to conceive. By managing your emotional response to your fertility challenges and maintaining a hopeful perspective, you can enhance your overall well-being and create a more supportive environment for conception. This shift in focus from what is going wrong to what can be done right can make a profound difference in your fertility journey and lead to more fulfilling experiences during this very important phase of life. As you focus on what's right rather than what's wrong, this signals your cells that all is well, which promotes a healthier, more balanced environment in your body. This positive mindset can encourage your body's natural processes, including those that govern fertility, to function more effectively and harmoniously. And by maintaining this outlook, you're not only enhancing your emotional well-being, but also supporting your physical health at the most fundamental level, your cells. When your cells receive signals of safety, they are less stressed, and we all know that stress negatively impacts fertility. Prolonged stress about getting pregnant causes your body to go into survival mode because it thinks that resources are scarce. When it's in this state of lack, reproduction goes to the bottom of the list of priorities because survival becomes paramount. However, a positive environment allows your body to optimize its resources for reproductive health, allowing your eggs to thrive as they are programmed to do. They are there for the express purposes of getting fertilized. That is their function. And they will be much more likely to do that in an environment that they feel safe and supported in. All your cells communicate with each other. So what's going on in your brain will affect your ovaries and uterus. You've experienced this when you're watching a scary movie. You know it's staged and it's not real, but your body still reacts by jumping in fright. So focusing on the positive aspects of your life and health rather than dwelling on the negatives is critical for your success into your 40s and even 50s as some of my current clients are as you prepare for motherhood.